did not move my microphone, but here we go, just moved it. And welcome to chapter 16.5 on surface area integrals. And so this chapter is one of the, the most difficult chapters uh, for people because there, there's a, not only are the calculations tedious, you also need to know a little bit of the theory that's going on um, in this chapter and the next chapter to really, um, to really understand and to really lock in um, what's going on uh, with calculating surface area. However, this being the plug and chug series, we're not going to do a deep dive into any theory, especially on orientation, which is the big one. And instead, we're just going to calculate surface area integrals. So what are surface area integrals? Well, they have the form uh, double integral d sigma. Okay. And this really doesn't tell us anything right now, right? So how in the world do we calculate the double integral of d sigma over a surface? And so, so first of all, let's just talk a little bit about the notation first. Um, sigma is just uh, another way to represent uh, you're talking about a surface, okay? Because sigma starts with s, surface also starts with s. Sometimes you'll see this as d uh, big s, like they put a huge ass s there. Um, but the book calls it d sigma, I'll call it d sigma. And then here's um, you're integrating over the surface. And what is a surface? A surface is just something that can be expressed as two parameters. Okay, so that's what a surface is. It's a two dimensional object. So if you think of like, um, I don't know, a cap in a th like a baseball, like, even yeah, so let's say a baseball cap, right, that thing, uh, if you if you forget the lid part and you just focus on the dome part, that's two dimensions, right? There's no third dimension because we're not talking about. Um, so if the thickness were negligible, then it'd be like a dome into a two dimensional dome, right? So uh, what else is a surface? Like a sphere is actually a two dimensional surface as uh, weird as that might sound. But if you think about it, we're only talking about surfaces here. We're not talking about like uh, the volume of a sphere, right? So if you think of like one of those inflatable rubbery kitty balls, right? If you just think of um, the surfaces, um, the surface of that ball, that's a two dimensional surface because we can parameterize it using two uh, parameters. So what's the big deal about surfaces then? Uh, so enough about me ranting. Uh, let's introduce the three equations for surfaces. So there are three ways we can calculate surface area or or I should say there are three ways d sigma, um, there's three different things that d sigma is equal to. If I have a parameterized surface, okay, and let's say I use the parameters um, u and v. So the book says r of u comma v, all right? So if you have a parameterized surface and this is your equation, r of u comma v, then, uh, then d sigma is going to be equal to the uh, magnitude of the partial of r with respect to u cross the partial of r respect to v du dv okay so that's if you have a parameterized surface that's the first case the second scenario then is when you have um, a surface uh, given implicitly all right so what do i mean by a surface given implicitly uh, you can think of it as like if you have um, a function of x, y, z, and then it's equal to some constant, okay? And if that's the case, then d sigma is equal to the gradient of f divided by the gradient of f dot p, um, where p is going to be uh, the outward normal vector, okay? Uh, it, so this one, and, and of course I'm missing uh, dA. Uh, we're da we're talking about dx dy or dy dx okay um, and p usually will be like usually will be like a, p is a unit vector um, so let, let's make that distinction first um, and occasionally uh, you won't use this equation that much uh, mainly because P, this unit vector, it's very confusing for kids. Um, and uh, yeah, but anyways, just know this equation exists. Um, P is equal to I, J, or K, um, always. So it's going to equal, right, z 1, 0, 0, um, 0, 1, 0, or 0, 0, 1. 
Okay. Um, again, I'm not. I don't think I'm even gonna do an example on this in the plugin check series because uh, the param parameterized version is going to be uh, the one that you're gonna care a lot more about. And then thirdly, uh, there's a there's gonna be a surface given uh, explicitly, which then uh, what 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 does that mean? It just means that you have z um, is equal to some function of x and y, or let's make this a little f instead of a big F, so we don't confuse in you guys. And if that's the case, then um, then d sigma is actually just equal to uh, the double integral over r square root little f partial x squared plus little f partial y squared plus 1 dA, where this is, again, dx dy or dy dx, depending on what the best way to integrate it is. Okay, so, uh, or that's not d sigma. d sigma is this guy. D sigma is this guy. Sorry, I just set up the integral for you guys. The double integral of D sigma would have been the double integral there, but D sigma is just this right here, and that's a plus one. So, all right, a lot of blabbing going on, and uh, wow, this is actually six minutes already, so maybe I will actually just end the video here, and then we'll talk about parameterizing surfaces uh, in the next video. So, yeah, why, why don't we do that? I didn't intend to make, um, did not intend to make uh, a theoretical video, but we'll leave this one here. So see you guys next video.